And there we go guys, finally we can throw all the doubts out the window about hardware 4.5 and the additional cameras because we got our first spotting of the new camera on the Project Highland Model 3s. Now I'm super stoked to hear about this because I've had my own doubts about this new camera going into the next generation Model 3. I thought it might be down the line throughout revisions but the fact that it's coming right from the beginning with the Model 3 Highland is going to be the best thing. Now I hope you guys are excited as me because I've been waiting holding off on purchasing a brand new Model 3 because of the lack of uh, features and things inside of the current model right now and the fact that it still has has hardware 3 is sort of a bummer so uh, hardware 4.5 is going to be what I'm after this is what's gonna be setting your vehicle for years to come and the fact that we already know the physical limitations of hardware 4 as it currently sits hardware 4.5 is definitely needed so what's cool about this hardware 4.5 is we've already seen it in a vehicle now that vehicle isn't in the production stages just yet it's gonna be a few months down the line but that vehicle is the Cybertruck now if you take a quick look around the Cybertruck you're going to notice one difference here with the hardware full self-driving kit and that is going to be the front bumper camera. Originally when we first see a vehicle like this you would think that the front facing camera is used mainly for off-roading but Tesla being an all vision company definitely is going to take advantage of all the sensors around the car for their full self-driving package and the fact that it's coming to the Model 3 is going to be really really big. All right so a prototype Model 3 Highland has been spotted by a Twitter user by the name of Colin W. Give him credits for that. He took some really awesome photos here, but it showed the front, rear, back, and pretty much 360 around the vehicle. And there are a couple changes here that are completely new. All right, so the first difference here is going to be at the rear of the vehicle. If you take a look at the bumper, it's substantially bigger and a completely different design than the current models. That might indicate that the trunk opening is going to be a little bit different and the possibility of a hatchback design is still possibly floating about. If that finally does happen and we do get some kind of sport back design that is going to be the perfect car and a lot of people are going to be switching from the Model Y over to the Model 3. Fingers crossed that that's going to happen because that is the biggest thing that can possibly happen to the Model 3 at this point but moving on to the second one here and that is going to be the charge port cover. Now it's definitely hard to spot here but if you compare it side by side with a Model 3 that's available right now you notice that the charge port cover is a little bit different it kind of resembles the model s and x right now where when you open up the charge flap it will have two joints to it at this point we don't know what the purpose to that is they might be just simplifying the design and using one charge flap for all vehicles but it does add another complexity and point of failure now what makes it quite weird is tesla has opted for a cover for the charge flap and sometimes they do have it open and other times they don't there's definitely something going on there with the overall charging port. All right, so the most major change here is going to be the addition of the front bumper camera. I know that's what you guys have all been waiting for and a lot of you guys are struggling with the Tesla vision right now, so definitely get onto that. But this front bumper camera here is going to be very similar to that of the Cybertruck. It's going to be right smack dab in the middle of the bumper and in relevance to where the hood is, it seems like it's way at the bottom and used for those two similar purposes that I mentioned earlier. So now we've talked about the blind spots in multiple videos now. If you guys haven't already seen those, please check it out. It is available in the Hardware 4 playlist on my channel. But that talks about all the testing with the blind spot system and really what the real bottleneck is to this full camera sensor suite that Tesla has. There is literally a spot right underneath the hood at the front that does not have any vision at all with the vehicle. So it's taking fully based on approximation and guesses. But with this front bumper camera, it takes away all the guesses and gives us a live data feed for full self-driving beta. And on top of that, it's able to give us proper live distance measuring with Tesla Vision Park Assist, whereas right now it really struggles when pulling forward. Now, one other bonus is it's going to act just like the Cybertruck and you're going to get the front view. And that means you're going to 
to be able to off-road this a little bit. The Model 3 really isn't an off-roading vehicle, so I don't see that being the real purpose, but it's going to be very handy when you pull into tight parking spots and you want to see when you're about to hit the front vehicle. Now, once this hardware for system is all complete, I do see a possibility with a future software update to stitch all the cameras together to get a 360 bird's eye view that we've been talking about all this time. Pretty much all premium manufacturers have a bird's eye view and it is a really great addition to what Tesla has right now. And the real bottleneck really was the front facing camera with this blind spots. This should technically work. I can see us getting a view of the entire vehicle around without any other sensors and getting all the best features just with this front camera. Now, depending on how wide this lens is, it could possibly work for the cross traffic as well. But because of how it's angled in this picture, like the Cybertruck, it's likely going to be used just for those purposes. But that does mean that Tesla is going to be adding two additional cameras to each side of the bumper for cross traffic with FSD beta, which it currently struggles right now with creeping. If you guys aren't aware with the situation, go check any FSD beta drive and you guys will understand. But yeah, guys, this is just a quick little update. I wanted to get the news out there and get you guys pumped and excited as well. I totally am ready to see this new camera in action. I do think it's going to be that five megapixel high definition camera, just like the rest of the car. So overall, really mind blowing stuff here. I'm going to keep you guys as updated with everything new that comes out with hardware four and project Highland and everything else Tesla related. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. This is John once again. Peace out.